Uh, let's go out to Iowa and talk to Paul. First time I call him, Paul. Paul, I'll come back to Milton. Jesse, good morning, sir. How you doing, Paul? All is well. Good, All man. All is well. What do you think Happy about my guest running? Western Tuesday. I'm sorry? Happy Country Western Tuesday. Thank you, man. The same to you. What do you think about my guest Ryan running from me just now? Beta! <laughs> He ran. Ah! He's a chicken. <laughs> Amazing. Jesse, I, uh, I've been a big uh, fan of the show for the past couple of years. I've gotten a few of my friends uh, to watch it, too. We're just uh, over the moon to watch it each morning. So I just wanted to say thank you for, for the great program. Well, I appreciate your support, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys watch it. Absolutely. Hey, my question to you is, um, I'm 35 years old. I got two brothers. My my oldest is 37. My youngest is 29. And then I have a four-year-old son. Um, my oldest brother, over the past couple of years, has gone and done this uh, kind of transgender thing. What? Uh, yeah, he became a better... He changed his. He and, took uh, off his. He took off his man body parts and put on a woman body part. He, he hasn't done that, but he dresses the part. Oh my he god! He acts the part, and um, and my younger brother, he's always been kind of on drugs, and he's never done anything with it. Neither of them have done anything with their lives in terms of just getting a job and paying for themselves. They've always lived off my parents. And so I guess my question to you is, um, should I limit the time that I bring my son around around them? 100%. Do you think being around people like that affects his perception? Yes, 100%. Do not, especially if they're flaunting it. There are some uh, lesbians and homosexuals who are locked in that because they're in a fallen state. They know something's wrong with it. They don't want to be that way, and so um, uh, they're not. They know something wrong, and if they're not flaunting yeah. it, they try to overcome it. That might work, but if they're flaunting their lifestyle, do not let your children be around that at all. Yeah. If you're going over to your even... parents' house and they're there for an event, do not go. Do not take your kids. Okay. Okay. And then is there, is there anything that you think I could do to help my older brother and my younger brother, really, the, overcome their weak mentality? Well, first of all, um, you have to be that way. You have to be perfect. You have to mean it that have no resentment toward them. Don't judge them. See it for what it is, but don't, uh, don't resent them for it because they can't help it. The parents have screwed them up, right? So they can't help yeah. it. And so if you've been able to overcome, I would tell them, you know, you can overcome whatever you're into if you forgive. God will forgive you if you forgive them. And if they don't want to do it, that's all you can do. Give them the advice. It's up to them to take it. Otherwise, you continue to live it so that your family will be fine. Yeah. And they may have it to live that way and suffer yeah. and suffer and die. It's up to them. Right. It's interesting because my mother, she, she enables it because she just throws a, a celebration anytime they do anything. I mean, my younger brother booked his own dental appointment the other day, and she just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Um, he actually made the phone call. Amazing. And booked his own dental appointment. How I mean, that's, that's old, where how, we're at. How old is your younger <laughs> brother? 29. Did you tell your mother that they are in that condition because of her? I have. You t she uh, doesn't take it well. And that's good. That's fine. Be honest with her about it and let your father know he's a beta male for allowing the mother to destroy them like that. Yeah. Did you tell him? That's, well, no, but we recently had a pretty big uh, uh, argument and I'm not welcome over at his place anymore. He's a he's a Democratic atheist, and I'm a conservative Republican. And he's very very emotional about uh, 
Trump and anti-religion and all that stuff. So, well, no one of the kids are anything. messed up. Yeah. But ahead, don't don't try. So your father and mother are not together. No. Oh, I see. Amazing, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you married? No, I'm not. Hey. I had a I had a child out of wedlock. Amazing. And are you? Do you have visitation rights with him? Yes, I'm. I'm still um, dating the mother. You still dating the um, mother? Yes. Why don't you marry the mother? Well, I intend to. Is she living with you? No. Um, I have a place in Des Moines, Iowa, and then I bought her a place in Minneapolis, which is where she's from. Um, she has uh, kids with another man, actually. Oh, my God. What a messed up situation. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for me, brother. Uh, I understand, though. Uh, I'm not judging you at all because we all coming from that father state. Well, most people don't. Some do overcome that father yeah. state. And it's it's a, it's really amazing the type of mess we can get into in that fallen state. Yeah. Did you know, oh, yeah. has she been married before? Yeah. And so, and, 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 and so how many kids she has with her husband? Two. And one for you now? Yeah. Yep. Paul, why did you did you know before you started dating her that she had kids and been married before? I did. What made I did. Is she divorced now or just separated? She's separate. So this woman is not even divorced. Right. Why did you get involved with another man's wife? Well, I think I was uh I was in a fallen state. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Now I was out of control. And so in that fallen state, in that fallen state, there was nothing about you that said, hey, this woman is married. She has kids. You should not be involved with her. Did, was there anything within you trying to warn you? There, there was almost every time. Um, we had a pretty... Uh, Lustful relationships, I guess you could say. Yeah, of course. And that, um, you know, that that overrode the uh, the logic and sense. I understand. <laughs> yeah. And so, Paul, yeah. your son, uh, why are you even considering marrying this woman? I love her. No, you don't. I love my son. You don't I love to be uh, a family. Paul, you don't love her. Why do you, Why do you think, say that? This woman is married. She's somebody else's wife. She has children already. How, if you loved her, you were not. I understand that you got into that situation in a fallen state, but now that you're waking up, you you love is to do the right thing, and the right thing is not to marry her, not to be involved in her life at all. That's not your wife. And now it's yeah. bad for your son to see that. His mother married to another woman, a man, and dating the father and not married. What the hell going to happen to your son, man? He's going to end up screwed up. He may end up wearing dresses. <laughs> Come on now, brother. <laughs> but, but you're not doing uh, right. So, you're so still not, but you're still not. You're so, as bad as your brother that's wearing a dress and your drug addict, brother, because you're still mm -hmm. doing the wrong thing. You can't correct them and be wrong. The biggest reason she's still with him is that, uh, or still married technically, is because she has some really extreme health issues. And um, he's got really good insurance. And so until we were ready to get married, they'd made a deal. She can stay on his insurance through his company because um, she's in the hospital every other week with her health problems. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of, uh, you know, hospital bills. But that Paul, I be able to take on. Paul, that's all the more reason to walk away from that woman. She should be on his health insurance. That's her husband. Even yeah. whatever excuses you make up, whatever reason you guys make up, it's never going to work out. You marry this woman, you're going to catch pure hell. It's not going to work for you. That's someone else's wife. 
Uh, you got a good point. And you're getting in the way of those children that belong to that man, not yours. Well, where, where does that leave my son in the mix then? Unfortunately, he's going to suffer. Because not only did you do the wrong thing to get him, you're still doing the wrong thing. You're not changing your ways. You're not stopping what you're doing. Mm. You're making up excuses. You're listening to Satan giving you these excuses in your head. This thing is not going to work with you and this woman. It's never going to work. What do you propose that I do? Get out of it. Apologize to that woman, to her children, and to your son, and walk away from it. And do the, become right, and the best you can do to take care of your son, and leave her kids alone. Those are not yours. She is not your wife. She would never be your wife. Hold on, Paul. Hold on. My God, I totally understand it. That's why we got to come out of the fallen state, folks.